Hello and welcome, soul friends and soul family. I'm Yashar, and this is another Keter guidance reading. Um, right about now, who are we reading for? We're gonna read for our Taurans, I think. Let's see. Mm, yeah, we're gonna read for Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Toro, the bull. Here we go. Oh, no personal message cards for Taurus? I think we should, since I thought about it. Uh-oh. Doot, doot. All right. Personal message card for Taurus. Double El Toro. Ooh. Hmm. Why so uptight, Taurus? Loosen up, baby. Personal message card for the bull. What's on your mind, bull? All right. Personal message card for the Taurus. Personal message card for the bull. We've got be happy for no particular reason at all. Get one more personal message card for the bull, please. That which you wish to be, pretend you already see. Others see it too. By and by, the act is you, Taurus. So first off, be happy for no particular reason at all. Something that Taurus should work on because you know we attract that which we are. So if we are putting off that happy energy, we can attract happiness. And we all know Taurus could use an abundance of happiness. Could could you not, right? You've been through enough in your life. You deserve some happiness, right, Taurus? So be happy for no particular reason at all. It shouldn't depend on anybody else or any particular circumstance. Just be. Just be, right? So, and then the other message, that which you wish to be, pretend you already see. Others see it too. By and by, the act is you, Taurus. All right, so... I think that is pretty self-explanatory. So we're going to go on into the reading. Uh oh, okay, okay. So our first card here, what's been going on with our Taurus recent past? We've got the Two of Cups, Taurus. There's been love in your life. There's been love in your life, right, honey? So, Taurus, you've had love. Ooh, love and marriage. Love and marriage. Love and marriage. So, we've got the Two of Cups for Taurus, first off. In the recent past. Complimented by the Four of Wands. Yes. Sometimes, uh, a.k.a. 1111 Twin Flame card. And... With that, we like to think of that. Love, people love to think of love and marriage, right? So you got bonded to someone in the recent past. You dealt with a, um, it's like you fell hard for someone. And it almost seemed like they were everything that, that, that you're, you, everything that your parents would have wanted for you, right? Like, just amazing and it was like you meant to take it slow but it kind of just leapfrogged and just became so much more than you expected it to be you were overcome with passion and dare i say it love taurus so the next thing you know you were like soul bonded just totally bonded totally tied some of you ran off and got married eloped i don't know some of you just felt like you were with someone that you'd known for like i don't know that you were meant to be with that maybe they were like your soulmate some of you feel like but regardless you bonded yourselves to one another and it seems like you do everything together you just everywhere you go there you, everywhere i go there you are and then on top of that like Ugh, I don't know, I lost it. Sorry, but everywhere I go, there you are. Everywhere you go, there I am. And we're building memories. So many memories. And you remind me of 
someone else. A long lost love, maybe. Hmm. Anyways, this is what happened recently in your world, Taurus. So now what? In the present. Oh, in the present. You find yourself. Uh, is there a struggle? There's always a struggle. Is there a struggle? No. Clarification on this for the for the present, please and thank you. All right, so we got the Five of Swords and we've got the Knight of Cups and no 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 I'm sorry that's the Page of Cups rather I'm sorry the Page of Cups. So we got the five of swords, the page of cups. And it's like, dang it, like I almost want to run away. It's, it's all happened so fast. Suddenly I don't know. I, It's almost like, how did I end up in here? How did I find myself building a house? How did I end up here? And suddenly I, I find myself like, to say things I've never said before. Feeling things. Wanting to let myself feel things I've never felt before. Like, I don't know. Like, I mean, <laughs> I'm damn near seeing rainbows. I'm not used to this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I didn't ask for this. I waited a long time for this, but I can't trust this. How can I trust this? Anything that feels this good is going to fall apart. It's never going to work out. Feels too good, right? Foolishness. You've wished for this. So why can't you believe in it, Taurus? You've wished for this, so why can't you believe it? I'm sorry. I get caught up sometimes in the story, and I get to read it a little bit slow, but you are more than welcome to touch those three little buttons up there on the top right, and you can speed me on up as fast as you want to, and I'll go a lot faster. But when the message is coming through kind of thick and slow, that's just what it's doing. So here we are. What is... Like, I don't know, Taurus. Like, this is what you're going through. This is what you're going through. You're getting wide open for somebody. Somebody's got you open, baby. And they're, I don't know, like, they saying all the right things. And you kind of want to accept this. And you're kind of like, dear, you're afraid to believe in this. You're afraid to accept it. You're afraid to be grateful for it. I don't know, baby, but what do you need to know right now? To navigate this situation. Mm. 
What do you need to know right now in order to navigate this situation? What do we have here? We have... Pardon me. My dear little... Um, my new little tarot cards. I don't always know what these cards are. You know, they have new pictures. And I haven't memorized all my Roman numerals yet. Okay, so we got the hermit. Okay. All right. So, what do you need to know right now? Is that you don't need to isolate yourself. You need to figure... You need to open up. Like, emotionally... You have yourself living in a freaking tomb, okay, emotionally. Telling yourself that you have to be alone. You have to be this stoic warrior. You can't allow anyone into your heart chamber or whatever. And it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. You're torturing yourself. You're burdening yourself. You literally are. Like... You're trying to hide away. Keep your... Listen, honey. Listen, honey. You need to open up. Everything that you've ever wished for is like right in front of your face. Exactly how you like it. And you're torturing yourself because you're trying to keep yourself... Look, look, look at how everything is here. This burden, this burden before this young lady. Clearly, everything is perfect. Everything is as it should be. There's a drink and a meal. More than likely another person's, right? Maybe even a napkin or something sitting right there. Who knows? And here you are on a mat that you've made out of sticks. And you're kneeling on this mat that you've made out of sticks and preparing to eat your meal that is balancing precariously on the sticks and it's just like an entirely ridiculous situation that you put yourself in and so here you are eating alone with your hair hanging in front of your face all sad and grudge looking poor innocent little you and it's like but you're the one you're, you would be the cause of that because this other individual is totally digging you and trying to be with you and paying homage to you and all purity. Like, I see a totally pure situation, a beautiful situation. And the only thing you've got to do is just accept it. Just not walk out the door on another beautiful situation. Just because you're afraid to let your emotions shine through. Let all the beautiful colors of your personality flow. And this person does that. They scare you because they make you want to do all of that and you you're afraid like you it's like at the same time as you're grateful for them you're afraid to believe you're afraid to accept this gracious grateful wonderful energy that's pouring out on you and what are you gonna do Taurus what are you gonna do I don't know if I were you I'd 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 call me if I were you I'd IG me or Facebook me the information is down below hit me up and Taurus, I think you need me right now. I think you need some help, some guidance. I don't know. It's up to you. I'm here. Me, Yashar, at Catch Her Guidance, waiting on you to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't miss any more of these mundo important messages coming your way. And do, I'm like, you know, talk to me. Let's get some um personal readings going on so we can get you on the right track because it seems to me that everything that you want is right there before you and for some reason you can't see it so again here you need to learn how to be happy for no particular reason at all be happy for no reason at all and also that which you wish to be pretend you already see others see it too by and by the act is you see the thing is others already see it they already see it in you. They see the potential for what you can and will be. And they also see who you are now. Um, 
as as a different entity altogether from who you used to be while still recognizing that it's you they have the the respect and the admiration the sincere um observation that that isn't the same you that you've grown you know and you're the only one who really needs to begin to see who you are these you're the only one who has to learn to believe in this new you. Everyone else already does. That's the kicker. So pretend you already believe in the new you. Act like you do. And little by little, you'll see that everyone else already did. They already did. There's nothing that you have to trick them about or that they have to believe or buy. This is what they already know. You're the last one. You're the one who's taking a long time to catch on. Especially whoever that is sitting on the other side of that meal right there. Whoever that is. Someone look at this. Look at the way. Oh, she, look at how she serves you. Look at how. All right, look. Male, female, whatever. You know, right? you know what it is. Divine feminine, divine masculine, whatever. We're looking at an entity who is nurturing. They want to serve you. They want to take discomfort for you. They want to eat light meals while they feed you hearty meals and get you just you want a beer baby <laughs> i'm having a tea you want a beer like come on Taurus, you better recognize somebody's ready to care to you they don't even care that we can be different we can like different things we don't have to be exactly the same i'm me and you're you but i love you and i'm gonna cater to you baby i'm willing to bear your burden meanwhile you over there bearing the the, the 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 emotional burden by yourself and about to miss out on this whole fabulous individual. Get it together, Taurus. Call me, baby. Call me. I love you. I gotta go. Yashar is out.